this is Olaf, formerly known as Bullet. On the day of February 24th, 2015, the young Boda was rescued from a house at West Palm Beach, Florida. When he was found, he had multiple fractures around his eyes and、uh, frontal bones that appears to be due to multiple blunt force traumas to the head. He was largely underweight for his age, and as you can see, most of his rib cages and shoulder blades are visible to the eye through his skin and fur. Because most of his bones on his body are shat-、uh, on his face are shattered, he had to go through a seven-hour reconstruction procedure on his、uh, when he was rescued. This is and this is an exact case of animal abuse that makes so many people lose faith in humanity. And here, this is Olaf after surgery, a happy, growing puppy, and most definitely an amazing dog. The surgery was a miracle. It saved it saved his life and relieved him from suffering through the pain of broken bones. But the sad reality is that Olaf's case is only just one out of millions of animal abuse cases still happening around the world. There are so many other animals that are still suffering from severe cruelty and abuse that needs our help. The particular surgeon that operated on Olaf was able to change his life by giving him back, change his world by giving him back a healthy life. And this is the exact type of career that I want to pursue, the career that I, that I want to dedicate my life to, which leads me to my quote: "All creatures are deserving of a life free from fear and pain." By Maria Cummings. This is this is one of the quote that definitely defines my principles in life. I believe that man and animals both stand on level ground, and no one, not one, is superior to the other. To some people, their pets might be their whole entire world, and by saving their pets' lives, I am, I am able to change both of their worlds for the better. Hello, my name is Yurong Shao, and this year I will be focusing on studying the surgical aspect of veterinary surgery, a medicine. It is greatly to finally become a member of ISM family. I've always dreamed about the great opportunities, real-world interactions with the business professionals, and the hands-on experience that ISM will provide me. So I'm going to start off with talking about some of the in- informational interviews I've conducted over the two- past two months. I was able to conduct f- five interviews around Frisco and Dallas area, and for the first few interviews, I thought I will explore the different aspect of veterinary medicine that's not only limited to surgery, which is why I interview with family veterinarians and also I interview with a vet that specializes in exotic animals, which is include like rabbits, hamsters, and birds and everything. And so she does diagnosis and she does surgeries on them. And Dr. Wilkins was the only animal, small animal specialized surgeon that I interview with, and not surprisingly, the field of small animal surgery really caught my eyes, which is why I chose、uh, to have Dr. Wilkins to become my mentor for the 2016-2017 ISM year. So,、um, one of the most important aspects that the vets and I talked about in, was vet school. There are only th- 30 colleges of veterinary medicine、uh, in the United States. Which means that the selection process is even more selective than actual medical school.、Uh, most of the vets I interview with stress the importance of getting early exposure to different types of animals, and、uh, which could include mentorship, inter- internship, and volunteering at local animal shelters. And in addition, becoming a veterinary surgeon goes beyond just graduating from. Uh, from veterinary school, I received my、uh, certificate for becoming a regular veterinarian. I also need extensive training that comes with internship and fellowship. And th- the hands-on experience is most definitely the most important aspect of training training to become a surgeon. And the, t- the competition for the job market is relatively fierce, with thousands of people competing for ten or twenty spots in the selective、uh, hospitals. Uh, in the country, so the road ahead of, me, ahead of me ahead of me is definitely rockier than I imagined it would be. But I believe that I will keep my head straight and I will find eventually achieve my goal. So I focused my research、uh, this past few months on orthopedic surgeries on small animals, which include the research assessments I did before and my interviews, which I will incorporate the information that I found into my original work and my final product. So I found that、uh, ruptured anterior cruciate ligament repair surgery was the most common surgery performed on dogs. But、uh, in the case of veterinary medicine, it's called the cranial、uh, cruciate ligament surgery. So for this,、uh, for a dog to have a, tor- have a torn CCL, the patella bone within a dog's knee can、uh, can not be kept in place and will slide past the fibula bone. So. 
uh, so, so it will cre create a disabled knee joint, and uh, so the dog can't walk or run normally. So the surgeons are able to go in uh, to the dog's knee surgically and kind of twist the fibula bow, and uh, so the slope between the uh, fibula bow and uh, patella bone will be uh, kind of 180 degrees instead of a, ni instead of a 45 degrees line. And they were able to put a pl uh, titanium plate on the fibula bone to keep it in place, which I actually just observed this surgery on the past Tuesday, where I actually got to see the surgeon uh, place the cut through the cut through the two knee joints, not cut through the knee joint, and then put the screw in the titanium plate, which I thought was really really really, really interesting. And so I'm, cu I'm currently conducting deeper research into how to actually prevent this common surgery surgery from happening. However, with modern technology, the goal cannot yet to be achieved, but I still want to develop innovative ways to help the community, which is why I did my original work not on the, to preventing this, but, also, but to uh, help the aftercare of the surgery. And I actually obtained more information about this uh, through my mentor visit than any of my research assessment, which is I'm really, really glad because mentor visit actually helps me learn so much more about this field. So another important aspect brought on by several of the vets I interviewed with was the emotional stress that comes, comes with being a veterinary surgeon uh, on, on a daily basis. So due to the fact that America does not offer uh, in, any insurance on animal hospital bills, not all the families comes in and seek, seeking for um, help can receive help and medical treatments due to financial issues, especially with surgeries. Even the most simplest surgeries could cost around a couple of thousands of dollars, which means that not the lower income or the middle income family can, not, can't normally afford that. And just the other day at the hospital, I learned that a simple uh, CAT scan, which is like an x-ray on a dog's leg, could cost around $1,500. And it's, it's, it's extremely heartbreaking to imagine the sick dogs and cats being sent away to suffer at home because when their owners can't afford to pay for the medical treatment. Um, and most of the owners that get rejected will blame the veterinarians for the loss of their pets because and perceive them as the bad guys because they, the veterinarians won't give out treatments. But the thing is, and sometimes the name calling and the blame could be extremely emotionally stressful for those who really care about the matter. But the important thing for me to realize is that I cannot physically help every single animal on earth, and, but it is definitely that I need to try my best to do so. It is important to present to the owners the different options that, options that they have other than going through thousands of dollars worth, worth of surgery. Um, and there, that is definitely an, an alternative to avoid the pain and stress that could be done to both the owners and the vets. So as I embark on this journey, one of the most important things that I need to constantly remind myself is, is to keep up with my enthusiasm for my future in order, to, re, in order to, to achieve my dreams. And the next 10 years will be definitely difficult, but with passion and dedication, anything can be done. Thank you so much for listening to my research speech.